Help can come in many ways, whether it's through counseling or feeding the needy. And with the veterans, it's that special help that goes a long way. Jacoby Rivers spoke with groups across South Mississippi whose purpose is to help veterans who may have fallen through the cracks after coming back home in this final part of Home and Forgotten. The fight continues. are encouraging people to bring their veterans with them because this place is for them. This is a place where they can gather and feel comfortable and talk with each other without anybody getting in their case or calling them names. If they need information on services and VA information, it's right here. They should just flock in here and get their VA stuff started and get their account on the books so five, ten years from now it'll just roll in. And that's what we're looking to do. Well, unlike most Renaissance festivals throughout the U.S., we are a fully funded 501c3 educational nonprofit. My family got into it with my brother who dragged us kicking and screaming to an event. And we fell in love because we found out that most of our SCA and EMP people are 110% veterans and they all struggle with PTSD. When they then come to the demos and they assist us with teaching our kids all the cool historical things to help them kind of understand history in a more hands-on manner, what I found is that those same vets who have been struggling with PTSD and anxiety then interact with my kids who are on IEP in the spectrum way better than somebody who is not a vet with PTSD. For many, we're kind of an initial point of contact at the Micah Day Center. Um, they'll stop in, we'll get them connected with open doors to start the process or get them connected to veteran services or to veterans benefits. So the Home at Last project, that's what we're in front of here, and we have eight units for, for homeless vets, and we work with the Veterans Administration here and the Voucher VASH program to actually get these individuals into housing here, right? The Veterans Administration has a case manager that continues to work with these individuals because many of the individuals living here have PTSD or potentially chronic mental health issues, right? So as soon as a unit opens up, out of our eight units, it's filled almost immediately. We built first a duplex here, and then this is a sixplex. And it's just a really good place for veterans to be safe, to kind of be together because they're together, right? And they can rely and kind of lean on each other too. Veteransville, I started it up in January. It's a nonprofit that I started up for veterans and their family members to grow and connect so they can have a happier and healthier lifestyle. Its main focus of my nonprofit is to develop veteran life coaches, veteran peer supporters, and veteran leaders. I want to connect with somebody that's been through the same thing that I've been through because you're going to be able to help me through it a lot better than somebody that has no idea what I've been through. Because it's like telling you, hey, you've been through this, but I need you to help other veterans with your experience. Deity will be with a veteran from day one. If the claim is denied in Jackson or somewhere, we will assist with the appeal. It goes on the Board of Veterans Appeals in Washington. DAV is there and it, it, we just follow them all the way through if needed. We try, we try very hard to entertain our veterans and just be comrades or, or friends. We're all, we are all veterans and we've all been somewhere. So we have that bond and we'd love to see you down here. Your DD-214 is not an issue. We can get that. We can help you get that. Our VA representative is, is a very, very professional person and he has mysteriously procured lots of DD-214s for a lot of people who had no clue where and how to do that. So we want to include you in that and get you involved as our VA representative. They're not alone. The idea that we have to suffer in silence is outdated. 
It's not a sign of strength to be quiet about what you're dealing with. It's a sign of strength to ask for help. All of us are separate. None of us are coming together to try to see how we can make a difference together, how we can build things up together. And that's what I want to do at Veteransville is create an environment or a space where all of us can come together judgment free. Let's try to work on things to make it a better place because I promise you there's going to be veterans that's going to go to them that's not going to come to me and vice versa there's going to be veterans that's going to come to me that's not going to go to them and we're wanting to reach all of them so there's going to be different kinds of us doing all different things and that's just us come together and really make a difference in this community because this community really needs it.